Hello, I'm Xander, your instructor for this course, TriFlask API Development. So while Flask has a learning curve, its flexibility and customization makes it perfect for building powerful REST APIs for various applications. So in this course, I'll break down key concepts with clear explanations and a hands-on project, hopefully making it easy for you to get started with Flask. This is a project-based course. Throughout this course, we will be building an API application. What you are looking at here is the database design for the application that we are going to be building. You can see that at least for beginners, it is a fairly complex set of tables and relationships. And the benefit of that is that we will really be able to delve a little bit deeper into important aspects such as querying the database. Through building our API application in this course, we will cover the essential topics. We will learn, of course, how to start a new Flask project, thinking about different approaches. In this case, we're using the Poplar Factory approach. We'll take a look at routing API requests, an important aspect of our application, managing our database or building and managing our database. We'll be utilizing Docker and SQL Alchemy. Database versioning, so helping you to maintain a healthy database. Data handling, validating data, data serialization, serving API responses. Once we have our API application up and running, we can go ahead then and explore querying our database, creating, returning, updating, deleting data from the database. And then finally, a good API application should have documentation. So we'll learn how to build or automate the process of building API documentation. So if you are interested in starting this course, you can access this course's playlist here on YouTube. Alternatively, you can purchase this course on Udemy where you'll find deeper content, source code, and course updates. So links to both the YouTube playlist and the Udemy course can be found in the video description. 